Heyo, Mini Shadow here, bringing you an up-to-date Nightblade build. A lot of people have been requesting this, so here it is. Now, this is my personal build. It may not be the best, but this is what I run with for the most part. Now, um, to start off with uh, w what race you should pick, personally, I play the Nightblade. Another good choice would be a Red Guard. Um, I choose the Nightblade for the stamina recovery. Now, Red Guards also have that as well, so it's it's up to you. Pers I think Red Guards are better. I think they have the better passive, but I, I like Wood Elf, so I go with that. Now, as for attributes, the main thing you want to be stacking on this character is uh, stamina. Now, if I go to character, as you can see, I've put all my points into stamina. Now for just leveling up hitting VR 14 this is completely okay but later on once you're VR 14 you're gonna need some into HP because right now as you can see I have 9,000 health when I hit VR 14 in order to live doing trials and whatnot I'm gonna need at least 23,000 HP so I'm gonna need a lot more right but for leveling it's completely fine to have a lower amount of HP um, so yeah, if if you are having issues, you can put like half of your points into HP just to give you some more uh, survivability, but it's completely fine if you can do without. Uh, the Munda Stone that you're going to want to go with is the Thief. Increases critical strike chance. That is also a must. Um, as you can see right now, I have 43% weapon crit. I can get a, I can get higher, but I, I don't have the equipment to do so. So 43% is still high, but it's not the best, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move over to skills now. With I currently don't have all of the passives that uh, I need. Um, however, you're going to want to get Master Assassin, Executioner, uh, Pressure Point, and hemorrhage okay as you can see increases d damage dealt by critical strikes by five percent and the next one's going to be even higher it's amazing um all right moving to the shadow yeah i just put two points into this because it increases my stamina recovery by 30 percent which is absolutely amazing um the other ones here i don't you don't really have to worry about it maybe dark veil for veil of blades the ultimate that might be really good you can put points into the other ones if you want for example I would get more HP if I slotted it to get this I'll get that in the future as well so that would be a good one to get dark dark vig vigor vigor um, siphoning uh, this will be good in the future for when you're chugging down potions um, stamina and crit potions so that will help you get your alt back faster and then, yeah, I wouldn't worry about any of the other ones. Just Catalyst would be fine. Dual Wield, you're probably going to want to get all of these. I don't have any of them because I don't have the skill points to do so. I'm focusing on crafting a whole bunch so I don't have a lot of points. Same with Bow, you're going to probably want to get all of those ones as well. Um, medium Armor, you don't really have to worry about the Sneak. You can if you want. Um... But you don't have to. I would kind of suggest getting that, getting it because night blades are sneaky. But yeah, dex, your dexterity, weapon crit, wind walker, stamina recovery, agility increases your weapon damage by twelve percent, and athletics. It just makes you move faster. And uh, dodge rolling costs less. Yes. Re so athletics is really good. You move really fast with that. Um, moving down to wood elf skills, you can get all of these, you know, passives, it's really good to get them, you know what I mean? Because you always have them. Plus this stacks with, uh, with the other one in your shadow tree. And then, yeah, just have a bunch of points into crafting. I'll go over this really quickly. You're going to want blacksmithing for crafting daggers. You're going to want clothing for crafting medium armor. And you're going to want enchanting for making your glyphs. Woodworking if you want to use a bow. Alright, now let's get into the actual abilities. Um, for, for pure DPS, I currently run with... Um, 
I currently run with Killer's Blade for uh, once an enemy reaches under 25% HP, I do a significant amount of damage with this ability. It's an execute, so it's absolutely phenomenal. This ability is a must. Um, veil, ki yes, uh, surprise attack. It's, this one is absolutely amazing as well. When you, once you morph it, it scales off of your, uh, your stamina. But what I really like about this ability, other than it doing a ton of damage, um, it also reduces their armor. So armor, armor shred on top of tons of damage equals win. Um, now the next one, Relentless Focus. Uh, builds up momentum for 20 seconds while active. Hit the target. Hit with seven light or heavy attacks to turn this into Assassin's Will and fire a spectral arrow dealing ma magic damage. Um, so yeah, you, in between your abilities, you're going to be you're going to want to auto attack and then use one of your abilities, and that's that goes perfect with this because not only are you building up momentum. Not sure what that is, but <laughs> after seven uh, seven auto attacks, you'll get that massive damage spike as well. Um, Blood craze. You don't spam this ability. You only use it to get the uh, the bleed for the extra uh, DOT damage. That's the only DOT that you have. But uh, sorry, um, I'm not I'm not counting the ultimate as DOT because I mean it is, but it isn't. Uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Anyway, sorry, I apologize. Um, it's it's a DOT, and that's the only thing that you use it for. It also heals you a bit. Yep. Um, and then Killer's Blade, sorry, Re Reaper's Mark. Uh, this shreds armor as well. And uh, if you kill a target with it, you you will be restored 60% 60 60 of your maximum HP. It also increases your damage... Uh, by 25% for five seconds, so it's absolutely amazing. Now, with your with this 60% HP, once you kill a target, also with this one, it gives you 20% of your HP back. That's 80% of your HP when you kill a target. So that's basically full HP, <laughs> um, assuming you're not under 20% health. Anyway, and then my ultimate is Veil of Blades best ultimate for the Nightblade. It's freaking amazing. It does a ton of damage on top of uh, it reduces their movement speed by 70% and reduce and um, when you're in it, it reduces the damage you take uh, by 30%. So not only does it make you tanky, it does a crap ton of damage. Um, and if, if you're if one of your allies is low, they can use the synergy and regain almost 7,000, well, re regain HP and become invisible for four seconds. Or, sorry, yeah, re become invisible. So that's, this ultimate is freaking amazing. First, at first it won't deal any damage. It'll only be, uh, it'll only do the damage reduction and the, and the slow. Once you morph it into Veil of Blades, then it becomes... A, does tons of damage. Anyway, so that's dual blades. Uh, moving over to the bow, I currently use um, again, I use Killer's Blade. I've already explained that. And then I don't really use my bow for DPS. I only basically use it to sustain up a bit on top of uh, if a boss is using like a massive channeling AoE, I can you know, get out of there and start doing some range damage while it's doing that so I can constantly do damage. Also, if I run out of stamina, I can throw on leeching strikes and uh, I can get my stamina back really quickly if, like, my potion's on cooldown and stuff like that. Now, you can swap out rapid maneuver for uh, uh, momentum. If, uh, yes, I, just swap rapid maneuver out for momentum. I currently have it slotted because I've been doing a lot of questing and stuff and you move really quickly with this ability slotted and like I said I don't really DPS with my bow even though it it is really good still. So rapid maneuver uh, and then snipe. Basically what you want to do with snipe is um, once you have your momentum and reaper's, reaper's mark on then you're going to want to auto attack, use a snipe, auto attack, use snipe and uh, that's that's going to get your momentum going and then you're you're going to be doing damage tons of it <laughs> um all right
so that's that's the skills for my DPS with a team. Now, if I'm soloing, my build changes a little bit. Um, I'm I will swap out um, Relentless Focus for Strife. You can morph this into Swallow Soul, but I don't want to spend the skill point on it right now. So um, so yeah, I will swap that out. I'll swap Relentless Focus out for Strife for uh, the HP that you get back from it. And then I will take out Blood Craze for Leeching Strikes. Now what this does, even though Leeching Strikes reduces my damage by 20%, I still uh, I get a ton of HP back from doing this. And as a Nightblade, you're super squishy, so soloing isn't the easiest. But with these two abilities, you, you get your HP, you keep your HP up, which is what you want to do so you don't die. On top of Reaper's Mark and um, Killer's Blade, that's 80% of your HP back once you kill a target. So it's so it's just these two abilities allow you to survive really well. Um, and then for your bow, I like I said I I would I would switch out and put on um, rapid maneuver because if you're running around doing questing and stuff like that, even if you're grinding, this ability will just greatly increase the time to do stuff because you you can move really freaking quick, right? And plus you give the bonus to people around you as well. So that's really good. Um, and then, and then yeah, snipe as well with Reaper's Mark. And then Veil of Blades. Now, if you're grinding, um, so say you're like trying to level up, right? Uh, my build switches again from this. I will take out Strife and I'll put in Teleport Strike. I didn't morph this one as well because I was only using it for grinding. And then I'll take out uh, Reaper's Mark and put in Whirlwind. Now, if you're grinding with a bunch of people, you... Uh, you'll only have to use teleport strike and then use one whirlwind and then that should hit the camp now that'll, that'll allow you to keep up with the people that are running around and tag all the enemies so you get full xp if you're going to be using your bow i would swap out uh... snipe for arrow spray oops for arrow spray and that will uh... that will allow you to sorry yeah take out reaper's mark as well sorry for um teleport strike if you need the extra movement if you don't need the extra movement then you don't need to worry about it because you you are range right so that's that's fine like that um now armor traits Let's go into inventory. Um, on your weapon, on your weapons, you're gonna want increase weapon and spell critical, um, which is precise. That gives you that gives you extra crit, obviously, which is um, <laughs> greatly needed. For this, uh, for my bow, I will have it on there as well. Just I didn't have my bow at level fifty. Um, actually it is now so I can equip my other bow which has weapon and spell crit so there you go I do have it now <laughs> um, now <coughs> on your armor I currently don't have it but what you'll want is divines and what divines does is increases your mundus stone by 4.5 percent and because my mundus stone is the thief which gives me um, crit rating it increases that by 4.5 percent times seven because i'd have it on seven pieces so that just increases your crit through the window like it's crazy it's so good um it, i don't have um armor set bonuses like i haven't crafted those so but what you'll want is hunting's rage or ashen's grip 
and then you'll want the two piece uh, set f from the Night Mother gaze, Night Mother's gaze, which gives you um, weapon crit. So yeah, Ashen, uh, Ashen's grip or Hunding's rage, with the two piece bonus of Night Mother's gaze. I current, like I said, I currently don't have those, so I'm just. I'm just going with what I have at the moment. Um, I have been gathering uh, the Viper set, which in gives me weapon critical, max stamina, weapon critical, and uh, melee attacks deal 900 poison damage over 4 seconds. So that's still really good for leveling if you can't find somebody or you can't craft it yourself. But, yeah. Accessories, I go with uh, stamina recovery on my rings. And then you can also have stamina on your uh, on your ne your stamina recovery on your necklace as well. But I have uh, reduced cost of abilities by 153. And while leveling, you're gonna want stamina, um, the glyph, your enchantment, on all of your armor pieces, like I do. And the same with your accessories, because your some of, some of your abilities scale off of max stamina, and the more stamina you can get, the better while leveling. When when you're VR14, um, doing dun like VR14 dungeons and stuff like that, you're gonna want more HP than stamina. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's my build. Now let's go put it in action. Let me uh, get my damage build back on here. So I want to put Reaper's Mark back on, rel Relentless Focus back on, and then Blood Craze. <laughs> Alright. So this is single target DPS. And I have a target right there. So my what I want to do as my opener is Reaper's Mark, activate Relentless Focus, start channeling a heavy Veiled Strike, Auto Attack, Blood Craze, Auto Attack, Execute. Again, that's Reaper's Mark, Auto Attack, Veiled Strike, or Surprise Attack, Auto Attack, Blood Craze, Auto Attack, Reaper's Mark to Execute, or, or uh, Killer's Blade to Execute. I'll do it one more time, full speed. I lied, I'll do it two more times. Alright. And then if you're fighting a group of enemies, what you're going to want to do is focus one. For here, I'm going to focus the mage. Run in. And then throw down your Veil of Blades. And you can actually sit in this, kind of, depending on the enemy, and just wait for the executes. If you're getting low, Reapers mark them and execute and you'll get your full HP back. But if the enemy is stronger and you can't, uh, you know, your the f one rotation doesn't kill them, s um, what you want to do is go between an auto attack and Veiled Strike. So you make sure you have your Reapers mark, um, Relentless Focus, with um with blood craze on and then you'll want to switch you'll want to go between um surprise attack and an auto attack but yeah that's basically the builds in action see he, she died or it died by uh the dot from blood craze but yeah your ulti comes back fairly quickly with this as well I'll go kill the last few mobs over here, and that'll be it. If you guys have any questions, actually, no, I forgot to show you the the bow. My apologies. I will do that as well. So the bow, which I don't have on at the moment. <laughs> I forgot to put those on. My apologies. All right. 
put these on really quick. That's not the right one. Okay, here we go. With the bow. So what you want to do, Reaper's Mark, Relentless Focus. You can even uh, get the Sneak Critical for this as well. As soon as I let go, I'm going to start chanting the chant. Um, sorry, I messed up there. So forget that happened. Reaper's Mark. Relentless focus, and then do a snipe, not an auto attack. And then she's almost dead. Get the uh, HP back from the execute with Reaper's Mark. And then yeah, so you want to do your snipe. And then an auto attack, snipe auto attack. And make sure when you're attacking your target, make sure you have Reaper's Mark on. Because like I said, that gets rid of, that's an armor shred. And when you kill him, you get that HP back. Um, I'm going to go and show you what I um, Relentless Focus looks like once I get seven auto attacks off. All right, there we go. Relentless focus activated. Now you you have to cast it, and that's what it looks like. If you if you get your seven auto attacks off, the ability will change, and you can recast it, and it does that that attack. But yeah, that's that's the build. Um, sorry, it's a little sloppy. I have to use uh, Twitch streaming as my way to record this. So. That's the build. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in, in the comments below. I will answer all of them. Um, don't f you can also come and hang out in my Twitch channel. I'll have that in the description below. And uh, thank you guys. And I'll see you next time.